Hello! I want to show you very briefly how I made the pleat board that really helped me rip through the masks that I sewed. Here are all the masks I made. I made three dozen just from whatever random quilting cotton was in my stash. They are going to Children's Hospital of Wisconsin. I have an acquaintance who is is a nurse there and she is going to pick them up from me. Okay, so here is the pleat board. It is cardboard. It's actually cardboard from, do do do. It's cardboard from a cereal box where I just took the back of the cereal box, ripped it off because I knew that it would be uh, enough for me to make this pleat board. So here's the pleat board and here is the pattern. When I was cutting out my pattern, as I cut out the mask pattern, I made sure to clip on the edge so these fold reference marks would survive. Um, what I did with this piece of cardboard is I transferred the same lines you can see from the pattern onto the piece of cardboard and I just folded it. Um, and it really helps make the pleating, pleating go faster. You like lay your mask on top and you kind of like jam it into the um, folded area area there any sort of straight edge straight edge tool will do for that but um, it really it made the process of making the pleats go faster because instead of you know taking from both ends of the piece of fabric um, and like making this crease and like you know probably finger pressing it and then pressing it with my iron and like doing the same thing I could just smack the unpleated mask fabric on top of here and then manipulate it so that it um, was creased properly pleated properly and then I just pressed it with my iron with steam like the paper here is a little jacked because of that and then um, it was enough to keep the, um, to basically hold the pleats. Like it wasn't like a real serious press, just enough to hold the pleats. And then I would slide the mask off, give it like final press to get the pleats in place. To give you a sense of um, kind of what mashing the fabric looks like, mashing the fabric onto the pleat board looks like, um, it looks a little bit like this. Now I had made this as like a template to see just as far as like a, a pre-visualization before I made the pleat board. Um, not necessary, but helpful. So you just kind of set it on top of your pleat board, your fabric, pretend this is fabric, and you just kind of work the fabric into, this is hard to do with one hand, into the creases. And then you would like put your iron down and Bob's your uncle. So that, in a nutshell, was how I made the pleat board for sewing my cloth PPE.